channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Get Ready With Me Valentine's Day edition. Uh, so I'm going to do some makeup. I hope you all enjoy. If you haven't already and you like some of the content I've been putting out, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. I really appreciate any of your support. Before I apply any makeup, I like to start with a nice fresh face. So I've gone ahead and moisturized my face as well as applied some primer. Uh, I'm using NYX Studio Perfect Primer. It works well for me. If you have any recommendations on primers, please leave them below. I'm gonna be using the Tartiste Pro Palette for this look today. And I'm gonna start with the color Whimsy. It's a nice uh, brown base color. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of my eye and also swoop into my crease. Now you just want to blend, 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 blend that color out of your crease as well as focus it on the corner of the eye. You see that at the corner of my eye, I'm focusing a lot more product on that, on that side there. Now I'm going back into my TARDIS Pro Palette and I am taking the color Mod. It's a dark or mauve pink color and I'm packing that on my lid. So I'm being sure to tap into the product and then pat it on my lid instead of a swooping motion. This just makes the product a lot more buildable. Here I'm just blending at my crease so I'm making sure to go with nice swooping motions and blend both the mod color and the wispy together so that they have a seamless blend. You see I just added a bit of the color vintage into my crease just to help buff out the color and blend everything seamlessly. Now I'm taking a couple of squirts of my Urban Decay de-slicking spray and I'm using that to wet my shadow brush. I'm gonna go back in with the color mod and pat that on my lid. By adding the Dislick spray to my actual brush, it helps make the color a little bit more vibrant um, and helps pack it on so that you can see it a bit better. I'm going back in under my brow bone with the color Vintage and then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go ahead and blend everything out. Blend, blend, blend. I can't stress that enough. I hate when I see someone with three different shadow colors on and they're on different points of their eye and they're not blended. Um, so go ahead and blend. Make sure you do that. It's just important and you can see everything just comes together. All the colors just melt into one another. Here I'm taking some LA Girl Concealer and putting that under my eyes. And then I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 310. Who else is loving this foundation? I'm gonna take a few pumps and go ahead and blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I love this foundation. It has a matte finish. I have oily skin, so this is perfect for my skin type. Um, I'm loving it. Let me know if you ladies are loving it. is completely blended I'm gonna go ahead and take my LA girl concealer and highlight my t-zone so under my eyes down the bridge of my nose on my forehead and my chin 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out really well. Here I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Powder. Um, I got this from the beauty supply store. I actually love this powder. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my uh, under eye and T-zone with this powder. Um, it has worked well for me and it's I think no more than four bucks at the beauty supply so you can't go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and take my Absolute New York strobing and shading palette. This is also from the beauty supply store. I believe it was also under four or five dollars and I'm going to go ahead and contour my face with this palette. So I'm going to go in on my jawbone, my cheekbone and also on my forehead. Um, I like to contour that way in kind of a three motion. So forehead, cheekbone, jawbone. So here I have applied my false lashes um, and I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara to the lashes. They're very natural lashes. I actually can't recall what kind of lashes these are so I'm sorry but they're very natural. You can't even really tell that I have lashes on right now. I'm going to go in with the mascara on my bottom lash um, to help brighten up the eye and make it look more open. I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash line with a white eyeliner. This I have found helps make my eye appear a lot more open. So I'm going in with my white eyeliner and I'm going to line my bottom lash line. Um, it just works better for me than a black liner and I've been doing this a lot more lately. I'm going back into my palette and I'm taking the color Hue and I'm going to line my bottom lash line with this color just to bring some pink on my bottom lash line and then I'm going to take the gold from this palette and pop that into the corner of my eye. You can just see that little pop of gold there as a subtle touch and a little glitter to and glam to the look. Now I'm just going to dust off any excess powder from my face after it's set and then I'm going to go in with my Nika K Sheer and Glow Bronzer. I'm going to take this bronzer and put it on the highlights of my face. So on my upper cheek, my nose, and the top of my lip. So I'm just highlighting right now with a subtle highlight with this uh, palette. So now I'm taking my Rihanna Matte Moselle lipstick in the color One of the Boys. I am loving this lipstick. It applies glossy but dries matte um, and I really have been enjoying this color. I'm going to go ahead and take one of my glosses and line my lips with this mauve purple color, uh, mauve gray purple color and that's going to create some dimension um, within my lips. So that it's not just all one tone and I think it went really well with the look. 
Last but not least, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay de-slicking spray and spray that all over my face, allow it to dry, and here is the finished look. This is the completed look.